film presents odd fox and the difference of habitat between natural and captive environments. Fox natural habitat includes lots of burrows, soil in grassland and forests where their food is found. They are nocturnal and will spend hours roaming the earth searching for food and shelter using their senses such as smell and touch to capture their food. They can eat up to 50,000 insects each night that can be collected by their tongue which is glue-like, extending to 30 centimeters. The odd barks are powerful and speedy diggers which can tear even the hardest of soil. environments are very different as they don't have a space to roam about looking for different water and food sources or enrichment. Walking these distances is enrichment for them which they cannot gain in captivity as space is restricted. The insight to this enclosure shows us that they do not get the roaming space available in the wild, however they are being presented with holes in the wall for enrichment to use their nose and mouth to smell and taste the food. Feeding in the natural habitat consists of utilizing their senses to source the food smelling where it is and using its tongue to source food allowing it to stick to the tongue and bring it out. When holes are too small to fit the tongue in, the aardvark uses its strength and powerful claws to tear away soil in the way breaking the enclosed area revealing the food inside. The captive zoo enclosure try to encourage natural use of the odd fox features, such as their long nose by feeding through tubes. Nutrients gained in the wild can easily be provided in captive environments as they are essential for their better growth and to survive. This can be done by hiding the food such as termites in the substrates so they can find it and dig it up, encouraging natural behavior. The inside captive enclosure shows us it has lots of enrichment and substrates stimulating natural behavior along with burrows to hide in chambers to sniff out food. The outside shows lots of space and area to dig, with glass barriers so the public can see in natural substances such as trees and logs are provided around the enclosure inflicting the natural environment. The five needs are obliged by such as, one somewhere suitable to live, two a proper diet with available water, three ability to express natural behavior, four the need to be housed with or away from other animals and five prevention of pain and suffering. <laughs>